Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bright Ops, and welcome back to Elden Ring. Specifically, the Lake of Rot. Yeah, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Okay, we are not going to be getting that. Those particular ruins back anytime soon. Not without coming up, finding something, finding a direction to go in first. Warrior required a head. Okay, there is a centipede down below. Oh. Well we'll be go well we'll be getting the centipede, I guess. Oh boy. Oh joy, it's little shrimp things. And there's a lot of little shrimp things. Bro, oh, shit. Oh, fuck, there was a I didn't realize there was another one. Shit. I mean, I guess it makes sense when you think about it, because... Ah, bugger. Well, let's be honest, we probably weren't getting those runes back, so... So we're just, you know, the earlier ones. So this is just... Okay. Let's fucking go. Oh. Well, shit. I feel like a bit of an idiot. Not seeing that coming. Oh well. We live, learn, and die horrifically. Okay. Let's see, what can we?
All right. Note to self. Get rid of the stupid silver fish things first. Makes life considerably easier. See, where are the other two? There's you. There's the other one. Nope, you didn't see nothing. Didn't see nothing. Pest's Glaive. I think, did we have one of these before? Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. There we go. He'll come. All right, you coming to play or no? Down you go, you annoying bastard. Well, at least we got a seed out of that, so... Hooray. Be wary of monster.
Okay, round wave one. Okay, that worked out a lot better than I was expecting, to be honest. Alright, before we go that way... Coffin... Coffin required. Oh, whoops. I thought I was reading a message, I didn't... Oh well. Let's go for our rot for the rot infused wild ride. This case scenario, we can always go back. Now here's the question. Where the hell are we now? And it seems that wherever we are, the rot doesn't follow. Just having a quick look around, see if... Ah, uh, here's a little summon sign. What the hell have we found? Oh. Shit. We have apparently found it. Okay. Right. 
God damn it. Okay. Now let's do that again, only this time with archer support. And the flask. Oh, crap. Damn it. I thought I had dodged it, but apparently no. I can already tell this is going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, bump. Oh, I hate... I already hate this thing. I hate this thing a lot. I don't know why it's here, I don't know why we're fighting it, but we're gonna kill the stupid thing. Mostly just, mostly spite. Spite of the reason we're killing this thing.
Oh, this is gonna hurt. Come on. Yes! Burn, you motherfucker. Remembrance of the natural born. Huh. I don't know what that thing was. I don't know why we killed it. But it's dead now. So what were you guarding? What the hell is this? You cannot proceed without a ring of oath. An oath to what? Alrighty. Where are you? Let's see. Remembrance. Natural born. Remembrance of Estral, natural born of the void, hewn into the Erd tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the f Fingerida. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. A malformed star being in in the endless void far away, once destroyed an eternal city and took away their sky, a falling star of ill omen. Well, here's what we're gonna do. Gonna go back to the table we're going to start turning in these remembrances. Power of equipment of champions, so still the same. Oh, Rudan's stuff is here now. Great hours used by General Rodan during the Festival of Combat. These are, in fact, the many spears of which he stabbed by the clean rot knights, imbued with his gravitational power. Let's see. The Golden Lion is said to symbolize Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, and his beast regent, Sarash. From his youngest, youngest days, Rodan was naturally captivated by the Lord of the Battlefield. Okay, so what have we got? So, Bastard Star, so you're a flail. And we Ash, of, Ash of War, Waves of Darkness. Yeah, we'll grab the flail, why not? Let's see. Winged Great Horn? 
Winged Great Horn, which is an axe. Yeah, we'll go for that because it looks like a decent bonus. Colossal Sword and Lion's Great Bow. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, we can use this thing, so. Fingers guide you. Yep. Let's see. Do we. Let's see. Yeah, I believe this is what we just got. Curved great swords of black steel wielded by General Redan. A pair of weapons decorated with a lion mane motif. Redan earned considerable renown as the Scar Scourge in his youth, and it is said that it was during this time he engraved the gravity crest upon these blades. Okay, we've also got. Where are you? There was the flail earlier. Not sure where the flail. The flails are kept. Ah, here we go, Bastard Star. Flail that deals magic damage, having been imbued with power by the remembrance of, Est of Estril, formed by the, of the same many coloured star debris that composed the form of the natural born of the void. Alright, I'm pretty sure we also got. Where's the staghorn, I think, is. Let's see, the number of new growths from the to do, do full Let's see, a number of new growths bud from the angel like horns of the fallen king, each glowing with light. Thus does new life grow from death and from death one obtains power. Okay. Okay, uh, st still just talking about them. Rightio. Yeah, we can max him out. Why not? We'll see. We'll see what he's like when he's at maximum power. Strength and arms can't quite get his right now, but Let's see where it was the, that sword. See what I'm missing? Oh, the somber stone. Let's see. God Slayer's sword does fire damage. This one does magic. Though, yes, we're still a couple of points down. So we'll see what happens. We will see if we can upgrade, or at least swap out in time. Right, while well, we're here, we've got bloody bells we can drop off. Offer a bell bot. Let's see, ghost form. Offer, yep. Okay, those Purchase. Let's see what we got. Okay, glaive, glaive, glo glove, wart. Blah. My bad. Hmm. Nothing we can particularly use at the moment, but. We've dropped them off.
Alrighty, let's return to the Grand Cl Actually, hang on. Before I for Oh, I guess... Yeah, Ring of Oath is... Since I just realized since we don't really have rings... Unless you count these? I don't think we, that there's a Ring of Oath amongst this lot. See anything that looks like a ring? Nope. Afraid not. Gentlemen, Decoy bugs. Well, not really decoy bugs, but... Decoy arches. Now let's see what the hell they were worshipping at. No trap ahead. No trap ahead, let's find out. Try attacking. Scorpion Stinger. Okay, I will admit I wasn't expecting it to, you know, not be some sort of trap. Alright. I don't really think there's any alternative direction to really go. No, but I don't think that's an actual path, I th or if it is a path, we can't... No horse ahead. Yeah, I don't think we can jump that. Not without the horse, anyway. Well, it's worth a shot. Oh, you can actually... Get I feel like a bit of an idiot. We could have gotten those runes earlier. Oh well. We live, learn, and die again.
Albaster Lord Sword. Let's see, you're new ish. Let's see, where are you? Oh, yeah, Scorpion Stinger. Dagger fashioned from a great scorpion's tail, glistening with scarlet rot. A ceremonial tool used by heretics, crafted from the relic of a sealed outer god. Okay. Ah, here we go. Great sword forged from a blue-white meteoric ore. The blade conceals gravity-manipulating magic. A weapon unique to the Elbaster Lords, a race of ancients with skin of stone who are said to have risen to life when a meteor struck long ago. Okay. Actually, while we're here, let's see if we can... find it. Let's see... Do, 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 do. Looking for... Because I'm looking for a pike, actually. Pest's glaive, here we go. Glaive made from a hard, sharpened shell, wielded by the pests who emerge from the swamp of er Elion. Slightly increases non-physical damage negation. Though men might recognize the keen intellect of the pests, evidenced by their spears' uncanny design, it will never be understood by them. Necessary item ahead. Somber smithing stone. Alright. Now comes the fun bit. Let's see if... Let's go for a walk. Through the, through the lake of rot. See if we can... Because I'm pretty sure there may be other... Because we know that way. But there's a whole heap of other crap. Ah, oh boy. Start this in this direction. See what the ruins have to hold. You can just sort of tell from the look on its face that it was not expecting company. Alright. So, that's to start. On to the next. Okay, so you're just... Oh, you've... you dropped something. Okay. We got that guy who's just wandering the flop at the freaking swamp.
What is that? It kind of looks like a two... A f one of the fingers. Or whatever the hell the fingers are. Or at least the rotting corpse of one of them. Okay, I'm seeing more basilisks that way. What the hell is... Is that a troll knight? Nope, dragonkin soldier. Okay, there was apparently a stake nearby. Really? There was one here? Oh, so there was. I will admit there's a part of me that just wants to let them sort of do the bulk of the fighting. Since they're doing alright. But, yeah. Dragon Scale Blade. Another sword. Let's see, where are ya? Probably a great sword, because... Oh no. Let's see, blood fangs. Here we go. It is a katana. A weapon made by sharpening a gravestone scale, gravelstone scale, thought to be the source of ancient dragon mortality, into an unclouded blade. Alas, the dragonkin soldiers never attained immortality and perished as decrepit, pale imitations of their spot guy born kin. Accidentally touched a blood stain. Let's see, if we go that way, that's. Yeah, that is very much where we were before. Alright. Oh, shit, I 
thought I'd hit the button. Apparently I did not. Do, 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 do. Well, we know there are basilisks here. It's just a case of seeing what it is they're guarding. Just leave them alone. Damn troglodyte. Damn little reptilian bastards. Let's see. Try jumping. Mushroom crown. Mushroom crown, mushroom head. Mushrooms found growing all over the body. These overgrown mushrooms form a towering headpiece. Raises attack power when something nearby suffers from poison or rot. Long ago, great lords served the skull that rot. Perhaps some fungal bodies served as their crowns. Well. We have uncovered the secrets of the rot lake. Do, do, do. I think we're good. Yep, we're not... We are not going back to... I know this was a request from the Volcano Manor. We bloody... Defeated the stupid thing. Okay, so where are we going? Could go back to the city. There's still a couple of directions we can go there. But there's me also thinking that we've got... where are they? It's in the inventory. Where? Key items. So they're both formed. So, Ricards and Redans. Ricards is the Vine Tower of West Atlas, which stands upon the principal of the coast southwest of Lindell. Seat the Divine Tower of Keliad, which stands upon the precipice of the Dragonborough Shore. Dragonborough. What Dragonborough? Where? Guess we're going back. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I, yeah, that's right. We we have been here before. We did actually come to the Holy Tower, but we couldn't go further. Probably because we'd missed the actual thing we needed. Oh, apparently that's nothing. So, elevator we go. It really is a 
This really is a beautiful game. Beautiful world. We're seeing a bunch of blood stains, which isn't fantastic. Radan's Great Ruin. Radan raises maximum HP, FP, and stamina. Radan is amongst the children of Le Re Le Anna and Ragadon, who became demigod stepchildren after Ragadon's union with Queen Maraca Marika. The Great Ruin burns to resist the encroachment of the Scarlet Rot. Let's see, where was... So, Cal Limgrave... Bloody... Okay. So I guess now we're going to go on the epic quest to try and find where... Bloody... You know, the other... Yeah, this last one is from. Because from the looks of it, it's not in the capital itself, somewhere, somewhere a little bit away from the capital itself. Capital B Armaka. Don't think we ever we ever tried to approach the capital via the front door, did we? Let's see, friendly or n I was going to say friendly or not, but... Apparently neither. Bloody on this one. And who was shooting it? Yeah, they really didn't want people getting in here. Well, too fucking bad. Gold seed. Gold seed. 
Map of Lindell, royal capital. Apparently there's meant to be a map, there's, some, there's a map somewhere of this area, but we haven't seen it yet. Hermit Merchant. So where are we? We are here. And where is... Let's see. Do, 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 do. Where are you? Where was your thing meant to be? Which stands for the principle of, of the coast southwest of Lindell. So, so, never eat soggy wheat becks. So, this way? God damn, it's one of these things again. There's a lot of these things that freaking round. I think it's a... I think it can be said that this is a pretty bad omen of just how how messed up the great tree itself is if there's so many of these things lurking around it. down you go. Okay, so that's leads back to there. Alright, this doesn't look good as far as passages to actually get to. This tower is concerned, at least from this direction. But I could be wrong. Minor Ode Tree Church. All right, what have we got? Go Golden Order Seal. What is this? Is it? It looks like one of these, so... Let's see... Do, 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 do. Scourge Heirloom... Do, 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 do. No... Raise the Dexterity... Yep, which we've got equipped... Oh, hang on... Guess we might as well. Okay, apparently it's not one of those. Key items. Let's 
see nothing that stands out. Have we gone? See, I don't. Yeah, it's not a. Actually, hang on. It might be. It might be a. Yes, it's a catalyst. I think. Yep, golden order seal. Boosts fundamentalist incantations. A formless sacred seal depicting the ceremonial observation of order enhances gold, golden order fundamentalist incantations. Fundamentalism is scholarship in all but name. Scales indications using both intelligence and faith. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that, yeah, the, the, that over here is the tower we want for our lost boy. Question is, how the bloody hell do we get to it? Because it's saying no jumping. So it doesn't look like... Yep! It's just death. But that's okay. We can... It's literally just a walk and a... Pick up those ruins. Oh, right. Now I guess the question is, how do we get there? Because I'm guessing there must be a level way, but we don't know what it is at this time. little prick. Okay. Well, until next time, my name is Brad Ops. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.